I remember back in 2015, I loaded my very first project into Adobe Premiere Pro and the software was just kind of, you know, intimidating in the beginning. As a beginner, there's a lot going on here with the interface and there's a lot of stuff that you, like you might get overwhelmed with all the stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my video editing workspace. I'm gonna show you how to customize it for yourself and we're gonna make it simpler, faster, and and easier for you to edit your videos as a beginner and that's coming right up. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create a new project so you can follow along. I'm just going to give this a title creating a new workspace and I'm going to choose my location I want this to be on the fastest storage or the largest amount of storage. So I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna put it here in a new folder. And pretty much everything else you don't need to worry about for now. I always check the scratch disks and make sure they're the same as project because I want all of my stuff stored in the same place. Don't worry about any of this. It's not important yet. So we're gonna go ahead and click on okay. Once you've got your project loaded, then go ahead and click on the editing panel here so that your layout looks something like this. It doesn't have to match perfectly. We're gonna be changing it anyways. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna have lots of space on your screen for your timeline. That's this window here. And the timeline is where you're gonna be doing all your work, all your cuts, all your editing, everything is gonna be in that window. So you want to be able to see as much of that as possible. That means we need to clear up some space and get it so that it's like the full width of the bottom half of your monitor. So I'm gonna actually take this entire window out. So I'm gonna close all these, I'm gonna close panel. You can click here and close all these panels. Perfect, all right. So this doesn't need to be double wide. We'll even move this over a little. I want every single pixel on this screen to be optimized. So this is our timeline sequence. This is our audio meter. We're gonna keep that. It's very useful to be able to see your audio levels while you're editing. Next, we're gonna come up to this window here and we're gonna resize this a bit. So let's make this a bit smaller. And now we're gonna add all of the tools we might need to this bar here. Now, I don't really care too much about metadata myself. So we're gonna close that. I'm gonna keep source, effect controls, and audio clip mixer. Next, click on window, and then add the effects panel. Now it's gonna pop up here. It might go somewhere else. Just grab it here and then drag it out and wherever you see purple if you drop it it's going to move the panel into that window the location i'm going to go with is actually up here and i'm going to go ahead and add some more so we'll go back to window i want essential graphics and we'll get that over what else essential sound can come in handy click and drag that in Lumetri color can come in handy. You may not need it in the very beginning, but at some point you may need to adjust some dark footage or overexposed footage. So the Lumetri color panel is gonna come in handy. It enables you to control all your lighting and colors. Let's just see if there's anything else you might wanna have here. You may want the media browser for importing your footage. Personally, I just use the projects panel and then I just double click in there to open up the window to add items like video or audio into the project. So we're definitely gonna add projects. And I like to have that at the far left side here. And you can see it says import media to start. So you don't necessarily need the media browser. At least if your projects are organized enough and you're, you know exactly where your footage is for every project you work on, that'll be in a future video. So this is looking pretty good here. So the next thing that I wanna just point out really quickly is with this panel at the left here, the way it is, you can use the wheel on your mouse to scroll across these items very quickly. And this layout is what I use for 100% of my editing projects. It's nice and simple. So next, let's save the workspace. 
So we're gonna go up here to window, workspaces, save as a new workspace. And I'm gonna call this main. Now I've already got main up here, so I'm gonna call this one main too, just for an example. So now we can clean this bar up here by clicking these two arrows, go into edit workspaces, and from bar, we're gonna take everything off because you're not gonna need to switch around. This is set up so that you can change your workspace and your workflow depending on what you're doing. But I've found this layout to work for everything that I've done so far. So I can't imagine where you'd actually need to change it out of this workspace. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these off of here. And I'm just gonna drag them down to overflow. Don't need those. I'll keep these two. I'd love to hear in the comments section, what have you done to increase your video editing or production workflow? I'm always curious to find out those optimization hacks. So I'd love for you to share with me in the comments and let me know your questions because I will feature them in future videos. This video is actually Earth. Uh, Earth inspired me to go ahead and make this someone I used to work with, cool guy, and I appreciate you for, you know, encouraging me to go ahead and make these editing videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, there's gonna be lots of great content, marketing tips, strategies, and tutorials coming out in the future to help you get the most out of your video marketing efforts. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.